Hey, what's up? This is Mark Skater coming here live from the studio. I'm going to be walking through, walking you through the, the build for the drum kit, which is used in the Sucker Punch um, Happy Day concert video. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out. Uh, Kerner Skater is on the drums and, and you get to see a live commentary of how I kind of show you the building of the set step by step. Here we go. Alright, first up, what you see and what I see is different. What you see is the sets of kitchen utensils for like a play set for like a kitty thing. Uh, we got some, we got some can opener on the left and a mashing thingy and a what's that a salad a knife and a spatula and another spatula and another knife and that. That's what you see. What I see is material and parts for a drum set. Alright, uh, let's start off with building the cymbals. Uh, I think I went... Uh, in the back, if you look, look closely in the back, I already glued on the two... three different pots together to make the, the body, basically the bass, kick, drum, and two of the tom-toms in the back, they are glued in the back. Uh, you check it out later, I'll put in legs later. And here you see me building uh, the cymbal stands, which I use the handles from the pans and pots um, attached to some some sticks which I find from a toy bit, you know, the twisty thing where you twist off the bit and you get the, the remaining bit, so I had that. And next here up, it's the drum set. Three pots glued at an angle um, to look like drums. And I added one of the legs uh, attachment thingy to hold it in place. It's uh, It doesn't have a back rest yet, so I'm using the cymbal stands to hold it up. And oh, we're taking a break and we're jumping to some guitars. I think I was letting the glue, the glue, the glue, the glue set. And I finish off the final touch up to the guitars bit. Guitars, here we go. Here we got, we got three set of guitars. I'm not sponsored by Coca-Cola. They was just uh, within my budget and they had a decent size and look and all look different. Um, so it's a, it's a nightmare because they're so small. I had to find some guitar straps to attach them so that the, they could hang on the characters that were going to play them. So I found some ribbons. You can see the ribbons. They already come with really nice detail with this white dotted line going across. So basically I just played around with it, figured what looks good and what looks realistic, fold it once and then glue it on. Um, here you can see it's a test test sample on with the character for size it looks good for size and then i go on to attach these strings which i'm then going to tie my ribbon through that string the red string um, so yeah there i go it took me about i don't know 20 minutes just trying to thread that tiny little string through that tiny little hole in the top of that guitar neck and there you can see the back tie a bit of knot slid off the cut off the extra tars and then i attach the ribbons onto that. So that was done a couple of weeks before that because um, I haven't found... I found the ribbons but I haven't got time to put it all together so then I did it on the same day I was building the drums when I was waiting for other parts to dry. So there we go. Three guitar, blue, red and white all played by corresponding colors, characters that matches the color um, and you see the little red um, strap on the top which that's what I attached the uh, the ribbon or the guitar sling too and the bottom is just hot glue to the joints so they're all slightly different if you notice even the angle of the the way the position of the traps they are different positions here you go i'm building the bass tom tom had this uh, big round pot which i then attach some random spare parts from another toy from the top as the uh, the legs and there you go we got a floor tom attached three of that and i save one i can't remember what i used that one for but yeah, three was enough to hold it together. Here you see me, I am putting, t preparing the snare drum. So there you can see there's a, there's a bit of a, I think it's a potato peeler or something. Can't remember when I, so I took it out, cut it off, and then I put some foam at the bottom. Um, and then glue it on to hold the snare drum because it didn't really sit perfectly. and you know, had a little bit of gap, so the foam just filled it up. Make it nice and secure. Next picture, we got a mashed potato, uh, a potato masher. So you see a potato masher. I see a drum pedal frame. We'll get back to that later. But remember that piece, um, that piece, we'll come back to that later. 
and here is a can opener what you see I see a uh, hi-hat um, hi-hat pedal foot foot pedal there we go so we snipped off uh, we, we took it out from the handle and we snipped it off snip that spade other spade thing off um, and then we combine together there you see I'm just holding it in place without glue yet um, and it really looks like a like a pedal thing and in the back actually you see a spare piece of metal rod or not metal rods um, a plastic rod which formed that earlier toy assembly kit which I already prepared um, to assemble this this um, hi-hat and I did two slits cut two slits there in in the top of the angered hi-hat pedal to fit that in and I kind of drilled a hole um, with a screwdriver and something sharp to give it a bit more secure footing and I sharpened the, the pole a bit so that it sits nicely in and fits there this photo is another test version I tried reversing it it didn't look as good so I decided to keep it as, as that version which you will see in the following up picture there you go it's there in the background um, attached um, in and then I'll attach more stuff to it later so we got the snare drum bottom left I had pedal with the pole and we got the, the whole drum set the main body drum set with the bass drum frame and in the back on the right you will see the cymbal stand and the floor tom I then attach one more of that handle you see that little black handle in the middle I then attach that to the back of the bass drum to give it a bit more support right. that's, that's just the pots handle which I, I basically customize everything and then I then work on the symbols these are just pots and pans and lids cover and I think those are plates they were originally black so I gave them a coat of 